I was watching Cisco stream the other night and personally I got tired of his gameplay so I thought there must be a better way. I've always been chill and laid back in terms of gameplay, trying to do less to get more kills. Luckily, I found a guy that can do just that at the highest levels of the game. He's Neil and let me show you what he can do. Sound crew, that'd be great, but really he's by himself and all the quick scope comes out about it. Take the challenge. He's a former player for Nova Esports and he had the experience to play against the best in the 2022 World Championships. If you aren't familiar with Neil's game, be glad that you're about to. He plays the game with fewer swipes. Now, I don't mean that he doesn't move his crosshair at all. It's that when he does, he's always centered at where enemies might come out of. Let me explain. In this round of SD, he peeks this spot first, a usual spot for enemy snipers to peek. He sees no one. The next common spot for the CT side is to use the A side to head glitch. Neil centers to the exact spot where an enemy might be, jump peeks, gets the info, and takes the shot. Notice that after the kill, he quickly centers for the possible areas where the enemy team might peek for a trade. Neil also uses sound and visual cues. Here Zen sees the bullets flying and quickly centers and scopes in at the right spot. He listens to teammates for info and gets another kill. Neil rotates to court and he spots a trophy system right there, so he waits by this corner. Now see where he's placed his crosshair. It's in a position where he'll be able to react if a guy came out from here or here, and he's anticipating for someone to push from court, so he's leading his crosser and just needed to do a minor adjustment to track the target and get the kill. Now it's a 3v1, you see two guys over at B, and they couldn't get info on where the last guy is. So by deduction, Neil watches this area anticipating an enemy, and at just the right time, all he had to do was scope and shoot. Same as the previous clip, he knows where the enemies will appear so he places his crosser right there and only there. Enemy team should know his location so he repositions. Based on where he last saw this guy, he slide peeks through this window, sees another guy but incredible trigger discipline for a better shot. I Karma shows himself, gets taken down, and Neil slide peeks to get a better angle of the other guy he saw right on the money. His teammate calls out middle stadium and again, Neil knows right where to peek and gets his fourth kill for the round. He asks for the ace but maybe some other round Where is he? no uh, he, 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 for this part i'll just show you perfect examples of how centering gets skills pillars, 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 pillars. Like I said, I like to be chill. I don't do zigzag, dolphin jump, heck I don't even do knife switching when sniping. I personally think that these are the only peaks that you need to master in COD Mobile. Slide peak, slide jump peak, strafe peak, and jump peak. Again, that the eyes and ears do most of the work. You watch your blue, watch your blue. One shot break, one shot break. Then react accordingly. Jump up dead. Big dead. One of the bad habits I do is sliding first before aiming when I encounter an enemy head to head. In this play, Neil aims first and when the enemy goes to cover, he strafes towards cover so he'll be able to take less damage once the enemy repeats. Again, no crazy movement. In this encounter, he slides to the left, begins firing and strafes to the right. Got the kill. Also here, he slid to the left as he's going out the door relying on the anticipation that an enemy is on his right. Neil has been on countless scrims and tournaments going against the best of the best in the game. That's why he's got better timing and predictions on how enemies might behave in the game and where to look once he realizes that his teammates are already covering a certain area. We can learn on our own in ranked, but we might end up losing more gunfights than expected because we can't really rely on teammates nowadays, especially if they aren't the best of teammates. But there's a new practice mode in COD M, single player map training which 
allows you to go over the map all on your own without the sweaty enemies and without the annoying teammates. If you want us to make a video on certain spots on certain maps and where to aim on specific scenarios, comment Cisco's a bot down below. Who's your favorite pro player to watch in COD Mobile? Let us know down in the comments below. I think I know just the perfect gun to practice less swipes and less movement. We went in depth on how you can utilize this gun right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.